Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocnik's YouTube channel! In this video, we are going to define a geometric sequence and we will differentiate geometric sequence from an arithmetic sequence. What is a geometric sequence? A geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers where each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed non-zero number called the common ratio. Given the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32, let us consider their ratio. The ratio of any two consecutive terms in the given sequence. We will have 4 over 2, 8 over 4, 16 over 8, and 32 over 16. If we are going to simplify all the four ratios, all of them are equal to 2. Therefore, the common ratio of the given sequence is equal to 2. If the ratios are equal, therefore, they are considered as a geometric sequence. What is the difference between an arithmetic and a geometric sequence? In an arithmetic sequence, they have a common difference. 3, 8, 13, 18, and 23. This is an arithmetic sequence with a difference of 5. In a geometric sequence, they have common ratio. 3, 9, 27, 81, and 243. This sequence has a common ratio of 3. Therefore, this is a geometric sequence. Tell whether the sequence is arithmetic or geometric and identify their common difference or ratio. 5, 8, 11, 14. This is an arithmetic sequence with a difference of 3. 3, 6, 12, 24. This is a geometric sequence whose ratio is equal to 2. 20, 10, 5, 5 over 2. This is a geometric sequence with a common ratio of 1 half. 8, 3, negative 2, negative 7. This is an arithmetic sequence with a difference of negative 5. 5, negative 10, 20, negative 40. This is a geometric sequence with a common ratio of negative 2. In a geometric sequence, the nth term is given by the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, wherein a sub n is the nth term of the sequence, a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, and r is the common ratio. Let us have our first example. Find the 12th term of the geometric sequence 1, 2, 4, and 8. Using the formula, let us first identify the given facts. n is equal to 12 since the 12th term is missing, a sub 1 is equal to 1, and r is equal to 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. Substituting the given values to the formula, we will then have a sub 12 is equal to 1 times 2 
raised to 12 minus 1. Simplifying the exponent, a sub 12 is equal to 2 raised to 11, which is equal to a sub 12 is equal to 2048. Find the ninth term of the geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, 54. Using the formula, identify the given paths. We will have n is equal to 9, a sub 1 is equal to 2, and r is equal to 6 over 2, which is equal to 3. Substituting the given values to the formula, we will then have a sub 9 is equal to 2 times 3 raised to 9 minus 1 equals 2 times 3 raised to 8. Simplifying the exponent, we will then have a sub 9 is equal to 2 times 6,561 which is equal to a sub 9 equals 13,122. Find the seventh term of the geometric sequence 8, 4, 2, and 1. The given facts are n is equal to 7, a sub 1 is equal to 8, and r is equal to 4 over 8, which is equal to 1 half. Substituting the given values to the formula, we will then have a sub 7 is equal to 8 times 1 half raised to 7 minus 1. Or simply, 8 times 1 half raised to 6. Simplifying the exponent, we will then have a sub 7 is equal to 8 times 1 over 64 or equals 8 over 64. Simplifying the fraction, we will then have a sub 7 is equal to 1 over 8 or the seventh term of the geometric sequence is equal to 1 over 8. Find the first term of the geometric sequence if the common ratio is 2 fifths and the fourth term is 5 over 2. The given facts are n is equal to 4 since the fourth term is given, a sub n is equal to 5 over 2, and r is equal to 2 over 5. Substituting the values to the formula, we will then have 5 over 2 is equal to a sub 1 times 2 pips raised to 4 minus 1. Performing the operation on the exponent, we will have 5 over 2 is equal to a sub 1 times 2 pips raised to 3. Simplifying the exponent, we will then have 5 over 2 is equal to a sub 1 times 8 over 125. Multiplying the whole equation by 125 over 8, we will then have 625 over 16 which is equal to a sub 1. Or, the first term of the geometric sequence is equal to 625 over 16. Which term of the geometric sequence 2, 6, 18 is 118,098? The given facts are a sub n is equal to 118,098, a sub 1 is equal to 2, and r is equal to 6 over 2, or simply 3. Substituting the values the formula, we will have 118,098 is equal to 2 times 3 raised to n minus 1. Dividing both sides by 2, we will have 59,049 is equal to 3 raised to n minus 1. Since the base of the 
exponent is 3, we express the whole number in terms of exponent whose base is equal to 3, which is equal to 3 raised to 10 is equal to 3 raised to n minus 1. Dropping the exponents, we will then have n minus 1 equals 10 or simply n is equal to 11. We therefore conclude that 118,098 is the 11th term of the given geometric sequence. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. A geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers where each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed non-zero number called the common ratio, which is given by the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, wherein a sub n is the nth term of the sequence, a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, and r is the common ratio. Let us now check your knowledge. Do not forget to pause the video while you are answering the following activity. Solve for the missing terms of the following. Let us now check your answers. Find the seventh term of the geometric sequence 3, 6, and 12. We have n is equal to 7, a sub 1 is equal to 3, and r is equal to 6 over 3, or simply 2. Substituting the values to the formula, we will have a sub 7 is equal to 3 times 2 raised to 7 minus 1, which is equal to 3 times 2 raised to 6. Simplifying the exponent, we will have a sub 7 is equal to 3 times 64 or simply 192. Which term of the geometric sequence 5, 10, 20 is 643? The given facts are a sub n is equal to 640, a sub 1 is 5, and r is equal to 10 over 5 or 2. Substituting the values to the formula, we will have 640 is equal to 5 times 2 raised to n minus 1. Dividing both sides by 5, we will get 128 is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. Expressing the whole number in terms of exponent whose base is 2, we will have 2 raised to 7, is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. Dropping the, the exponents, we will then have n minus 1 is equal to 7 or n is equal to 8. Therefore, 640 is the 8th term of the geometric sequence. Find the first term of the geometric sequence if the common ratio is 1 half and the sixth term is 25 over 8. The given facts are n is equal to 6, a sub n is equal to 25 over 8, and r is equal to 1 half. Substituting the values to the formula, we will then have 25 over 8 is equal to a sub 1 times 1 half raised to 6 minus 1. Or simply, 25 over 8 is equal to a sub 1 times 1 half raised to 5. Simplifying the exponent, we will have 25 over 8 is equal to a sub 1 times 1 over 32. Multiplying the whole equation by 32 over 1 or 32, we will then get 800 over 8. We therefore conclude that a sub 1 or the first term of the geometric sequence is equal to 100.
Thank you for watching Sir Oknik's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. It is always fun learning mathematics. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!